Our planet isn't as big as we once may have imagined. It now takes seconds to communicate any piece of information. Travel from one corner of the earth to another or to Israel is a matter of hours. For 2,000 years, most Jews would have given anything to come to this country and to Jerusalem, its capital. Now that we can get here, how fully do we appreciate what is known as the holiest place on earth? The Kotel. The last remnant of our holy temple destroyed 2,000 years ago continues to be the focus of Jews of all persuasions from all over the world. This place belongs to you. And you belong to it. Napoleon once saw Jews mourning the destruction of Jerusalem, and he said, Where have we ever found another people in the world who have preserved their memories and aspirations for thousands of years? I swear that there is a good future for this nation. Every Jew is the outcome of 3,311 years, 247 days, 17 hours and 45 minutes of the most amazing history on earth. Mark Twain from Harper's Magazine, September 1898, concerning the Jews, the Egyptian, the Babylonian, and the Persian filled the planet with sound and splendor, then faded to dream stuff and passed away. The Greek and the Roman followed and made a vast noise and they are gone. Other peoples have sprung up and held their torch high for a time. But it burned out. And they sit in twilight now, or have vanished. Mark Twain concludes, the Jew saw them all, beat them all, all things are mortal but the Jew. All other forces pass, but he remains. What is the secret of his immortality? The Jews became a nation when they left Egypt and were given the Torah on Mount Sinai. They have preserved this holy code meticulously, observing its precepts, studying it, and passing it down from generation to generation. I want to share something with you. The Hebrew letters are not just regular letters. They're actually the DNA for the entire universe. Our unique faith, however, has also been singled out for persecution throughout the ages. Why?
Hitler once said, The Jews have inflicted two wounds on mankind, circumcision on its body and conscience on its soul. For over 3,000 years, we have survived and flourished against all odds. In the next 25 years, we stand to lose more Jews to assimilation than we lost in the Holocaust. Assimilation is the product of ignorance. Ignorance can be cured. Once you know who you are, where you come from, what meaning the past has for your future, you bring great meaning into your life. And when you do that, you bring great meaning into the world.